Hello and welcome to my next tutorial and today we're going to continue previous series where we created this system where we can build several buildings and we had one issue we can place a building onto another building and we have to fix it now and it's not that difficult to do firstly we're going to find the position where the um, where the builder is so position is own dot world position inside of builder script now we're going to define that we're going to define a grid where it where we build the buildings and whenever we build something we add it to grid so we're going to do if not grid in own own grid is empty dictionary now here what we're gonna do is we're gonna test for specific input firstly we're gonna extract few things from the position so p equals str pose dot x plus string which equals to pl uh, comma and str pose dot y what this makes is some kind of string object like this 80 comma 7 then what we're gonna do from with this is extract data from it so x y is or not now we're gonna just save it as it is uh, for now we're gonna extract it later down there so if not p in own grid and own grid uh, p is set to own building what this does is whenever we create a building we try to build if it checks if there isn't building in that slot it creates this building as variable and uh, we're gonna debug it else we're gonna here print placing building plus str own building and here we're gonna print una unable to build okay now we run it we placed here let's check and it shows blessing building zero um, we create them like th this um, it should print for yes now we create it here we select one and we try to build here and it doesn't build and in console it says unable to build so basically what we've got is a working system uh, previously I was thinking of making those buildings act like you can check for them with collisions but as you can see I have changed the system and now we use grid instead of physical objects which improves the performance and the all control over it by yourself and reduces errors so what we've got here now is we create the grid of the buildings which allows you to create only one building per slot and this later will allow us to do several good things with it so this grid is important thing this property holds all the data about buildings later we'll place in more data than just own building will create it to be dictionary actually to make it better managed will already create it to be dictionary and we're gonna place a building parameter to it later we're gonna add new things to it so that we can better manage over it but for now this is it thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if so don't forget to leave a like and 
subscribe, follow and wait for the next tutorials where we are gonna learn more things. How to make buildings functional, how to make building limits, how to make building selection, how to make buildings require materials to build it and how to produce materials with buildings and so on. And soon we are gonna have a nice builder game, but for this time it's it. This is it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.